So, Andrea, here we are at the Jumeirah Beach Resort in Bahrain. It's a pretty nice life you've got out here. How many years have you been coming out here to Bahrain? Um, yeah, I actually looked it up last night. I think um, my first time riding in Bahrain was in 2017. Um, I came out here to ride a horse called Proposed for Jabir Ramadan, and he actually won. Um, so I've been coming here since then, sort of in and out. I spent probably about a month last year. But this is it's the first time I'm actually doing the sort of full season in Bahrain. And in the years that you've been coming out here, the five years you've been racing here, have you seen the development, the progression of the club in that time? Well, a lot's changed. Obviously, the facilities are a lot better. The track itself, it's, it's a lot better. Not just, you know, the racetrack, the grass track is beautiful, but even the training track, they obviously changed the service last year. The jockey's room and the quality of the horses, I think, over the year, it's just over the, the last few years, it just got better and better, and the quality of the jockeys is getting better. You know, get a lot of these jockeys, good jockeys coming out from, to come here from, from overseas, but a lot of the local jockeys, you know, are, are very good too. So it's it's picking up very quickly, and it's a big change since the first time, first time I came. I'm sure there's a lot more that needs to be done, but it's gone the right way, and no, it's it's good. And how much has the Bahrain Turf Series in the last couple of years helped the progression of the club? Mainly publicity because with the series races you can bring horses from overseas and you can invite people from other countries to run their horses here. So you get to see Bahrain, you get to see what happens here and uh, it definitely helped to sort of expand Bahrain and horse racing to the rest of the world. Because here we are sitting in a, a brand new resort, it's only been open for a few months, the Jumeirah Beach Resort. Um, do you still do you see that Bahrain has changed a lot in the years that you've been coming, the five years you've been sort of coming in and out? It has. T to be honest with you, like I said, I used to, every time I came, it was sort of in and out sort of thing. I'd come on the, maybe the Thursday night rather than the Friday and leave the Friday night. So I never really spent a lot of time in, in Bahrain. Um, so this time is actually the first time I spent, I've been here three months already. So, but you, you can see change, like I think everything is moving forward. You know, not just, okay, we talk about the racing because we're in that industry, but I think outside racing as well, the country is just moving forward quite quickly. And how do you describe Bahrain racing out here, living out here? How do you describe that to, to friends back home? Bahrain is it's, it's very relaxing, nice way of life. People are very straightforward. No, it's, it's a nice place to be. Obviously, you get nice weather in, in winter and, and summer, uh, which it helps. Um, and like I said, things are picking up. Like now where we're here now, they, they build this new place. And I'm sure there's a lot more places that are going to be built. And uh, like I said, it, it's a country that's in progress. And uh, I'd say in the next 10, 15 years, we can see a massive difference. And what do you enjoy about the racing here? I think the main thing here, it's the track itself. I think the track is very nice. It's, it's a very fair track. Like I've been lucky enough to, to race around the world everywhere, but I do think Bahrain, it's, it's a nice track. It's a very flat, you know, it's, a, it's an easy track. It's, it's a long straight. Seven, eight times out of 10, the best horse wins. And like I said, the quality of the horses is just, each year they've been coming out, it's just getting stronger and stronger. The prize money is getting bigger and bigger. Not just the serious races, obviously they've got the Bahrain trophy, which is, you know, 600,000 pounds. Uh, race and we've seen some, you know, a lot of, even looking at the handicaps marks, you know, from from the first day they had the Bahrain trophy, you can see how it's improved over the last few years. What sort of horse now you actually need to, to win a race like that. And aside from the track and racing, how do you describe the atmosphere? What's it like on race days? It, it, it's very relaxing. Um, the club is very accommodating. Um, they're very easy to deal with. You can actually train the horses in the mornings, and at the same time here, you can actually train your horses in the afternoon. So every trainer and owner have got different sort of uh, way of training them. But like I said, the, the club it's open to help, and uh, it, it's like a big family, really. And you ride out in the afternoons, so a completely different lifestyle to what you've had in the UK or when you've been travelling in Japan and things. So do you enjoy just a bit more of a, a laid-back vibe to Bahrain? Yeah, obviously you get to, you know, to get to have a nice lane in the morning but uh, it's it's nice because you get to ride out sort of three o'clock in the afternoon and three or three thirty and the weather is nice and it's different but you know it's it, it's nice it's it's a nice time of the afternoon to be sitting on the horse
And what I love about Bahrain is that everything is so close. It's sort of half an hour to the city. The track is around here. Then you can come and you've, you've got this beautiful beach resort. And it's all so close. It's, it's also something for everyone out here. Sure, like everything is literally 20 minutes. If you ask me where is near small 20 minutes, where is the track is 20 minutes, everything is literally within 20 minutes, you can go everywhere. And uh, no, like I said, the country itself, it's, 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 it's amazing. You know, it's, they've got some, some great facilities and it's going massively on the way up. And in the next 10, 15 years, we could see a massive change. And aside from racing here in Bahrain, Obviously, Bahraini owners are doing really well abroad, the likes of KHK winning the, the Ledger, commissioning, perhaps favourite for the Guineas next year. How much of a boost does that give racing here? Yeah, um, obviously, we're talking about racing here, but, you know, Bahrain is, is international. You know, the uh, KHK, his Highness Sheikh, Sheikh Khalid winning, the, you know, winning the Ledger last year, which is, you know, classic. Those classics are very hard to win. He's got some very good well, three, two roads last year. They're going to turn up to be three loads and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman, he's obviously looks like he's got a very good filly. She was, you know, she was a top class filly last year. She's going to be favourite for the Guineas. You know, His Highness Sheikh Nasser, you know, Sheikh Sultan, they're, they're investing a lot of money into this sport and, uh, you know, they're, they're getting a lot of success, especially abroad. Like we've seen in UK, you know, they, they, you know, they buy the horses at the sales and, you know, they spend big money. But at the same time, they breed the horses as well, obviously. Sheikh Isa bin Salman, he bred the filly, he bred right himself, and also Khalid, M you know, and Mohammed, MKR, the guys I ride for, they're big owners and breeders. Um, they've got a horse like called Helabib, who's going to go to Saudi for the two and a half million dollar race. He, he, the horse was bred by him, he actually bred the stallion. So it's not just about going to the sales and buying the horses, it's, it, you know, it's, they actually breed the horses, so the, the horses are in their blood. Camelot, he, he was bred by His Highness um, Sheikh Abdullah. So it's, you know, it's, it's not just about uh, here. I think worldwide, they're, they're doing great and, uh, and I'm sure it's only going to get better.